सिस्टम This is a high-level diagram, but it is really easy to convey a complex idea in a basic manner. So let me just take an example how to uh, draw a use case diagram. We use a oval shape to represent use cases. Likewise, we have to put the functions inside this oval. The components of a use case diagram are system, actors, use cases, and relationships. Let's take a real life example. The example is an app for a banking system. A system is a collection of all the components that are interrelated to achieve a common goal. In this case, the system is the banking app. And this is how we represent it in use case diagrams. This is the system boundary. All the components inside the system boundary are related to the system, and all the components are outside the system boundary are external entities which interacts with the system. Then comes actors. There are two types of actors. Those are primary actors and secondary actors. Primary actors are the people, systems, or organizations which initializes. the use of the system and the second reactors are the people who respond to the system in this case the primary actor is the user who uses the banking and the second reactor is the bank who helps the user to use this banking app in use case diagrams it's standard to put the primary actor in the left side and second reactor in the right side In this example the primary actor is the customer and we put the customer in the left side and the second reactor which is the bank we put it in the right side in relationship there are four main relationships we can see first one is association association is a then simple basic relationship between an actor and the bank in our example it's a bank then it comes to the include relationship you have to complete the both use cases to complete the action when is uh, let's assume that customer is need to log in the bank app it's the base uh, the base use case is this login and the next uh, include relation uh, include use case is uh, authentication so if the user need to log in the login for the banking system you have to uh, correctly input uh, input the username and password so Uh, when it's uh, in the uh, include relationship, this is a uh, base use case, and this is include use case. So in this relationship, both these base use uh, case and uh, include use uh, cases should be complete, and we are showing it like this. Extend relationship basically defines optional behavior. The extended relationship is represented by drawing a dash line from the extended use case to the base use case and writing extend in zero time. In this example, when the customer logs into system, it may display an login error. Serialization is when two or more use cases or actors inherit from the base. Serialization is when the chapter ch children inherit the uh, properties and behavior from the parent. Serialization may ha happen among actors or among use cases. 
Generalization is represented by drawing a solid line from the children to the parent and marking it with the triangular arrow. In this example, this is a representation of generalization of use cases. Here, make payment is the parent use case and make payment from check-in and make payment from savings are the child use cases. Make payment from check-in and make payment from savings have the common features which are inherited by make payment uh, which is the pair parent use case. And this is how actors are generalized. Here, customer is the parent and new customer and returning customer are the children. New customer and returning customer have the uh, co have common features of the parent, the customer. The presentation is in the description below. We hope that you learned something. If you did, like, comment, share and subscribe.